What an exciting night we have in store for the 2017 Queensland Tourism Awards. It's tourism's night of nights, proudly supported by the Queensland Tourism Industry Council in partnership with Queensland Airports Limited and Tourism and Events Queensland. Let's check it out. On the count of three, let's hear it. Cool we one, two, three. Yura Yura, welcome to my world. Welcome to my people's world. Welcome to the land that I call home. Welcome everyone to the 2017 Queensland Tourism Awards hosted by Queensland Tourism Industry Council. The best one of me is you. Ready? One, two, three. Awesome. Let's go. The best part of me is you. We are a great and powerful industry, and you are a great tribe. Let's celebrate that tonight. This year's winner of the outstanding contribution by an individual, Wendy Morris. I'm shocked. I'm humbled. And I'm so honoured because I know the size of the, the shoes that have stood here before me. We won this award because people who stayed at the resort mm. voted for us. And they're only going to do that if they have a fantastic time when they stay with us. This is the 11th year that Queensland Airports has been the presenting partner, so uh, we're very excited to be part of this. The Serena Sugar Shed is now officially inducted into the Queensland Tourism Awards Hall of Fame. We've got the rum, you've just got to come and taste it. Taking the gold for standard accommodation is the Grand Hotel and Apartments Townsville. It means so much, we're an independent uh, family owned hotel, so uh, I guess uh, from a guest point of view our credibility is uh, around these sorts of things. Thank you Daniel um, for what is an extraordinary night and uh, for what you and QTIC do for the industry, it's quite phenomenal. We celebrate the best of the industry, operating within the best address on earth. Big Four Adventure with Sunday Resort is our second winner who is now officially a Queensland Tourism Award Hall of Fame member. Airlie Beach has had a huge year this year. We had uh, Cyclone Debbie come through and hit us really hard, but we've had fantastic support. This industry employs over a quarter of a million people and provides great opportunities for young people. It is the heart and soul of the regional tourism organisations that bring that product to life. Culture is the oldest continuous culture in the world. It's also probably the coolest award here tonight, so we're pretty keen to be involved in it. Iramba, Benanunda. I am Jabagai. We have come from far away. The gold belongs to Lady Elliot Island Eco Resort. You come to a place like this and you see a room full of amazing people that are so courageous as to put yourself out there into tourism, work your butts off. 20 hours a day, I know what it's like, you all do it. Congratulations to everyone at the Toowoomba Carnival of Flowers. This is a tribute to collaboration. Again, it's great to see our judges and the public on a par, with Paranella Park taking out one of tonight's RACQ People's Choice Awards. It was a few months ago that I said, let's not enter the Tourism Awards this year. And it was Bridget and Judy that said, we've got to do it. It's our way of documenting our history, our story. This evening's winner is Abel Point Marina. First time entering the awards and you take out the big one. Yeah. We've got a great team, uh, but the thing is that uh, at the end of the day, what we wanted to do was provide a great customer service to the people that we deal with. Well, a night like this just doesn't happen without the sponsors. Put your hands together for all of them and for Jeff Hogg, Queensland Managing Director of the Star Entertainment Group. But I think we can even do it better if we have QTA 18 at the Star Gold Coast in 2018. We've had tears, we've had champagne, we've had celebrations. We congratulate you all and wish you a great night. Thanks to our sponsors. Have a great night. We'll see you at the bar. Woo. Sophie's shouting the first 300. Yeah. Good night. Good night. <laughs>